What's going on guys? So, it's about 7 a.m. right now. Sun's gonna make its way up here in about 10-15 minutes, but we're out in the water before dark so we can get in a good setup. Because this morning we are fishing for some big old Jack Creval. And it's been a while since I've caught a big monster. And you know, last year around this time of year, I caught two or three really, really big jacks. And so hopefully that's what we're gonna target this morning. You know, something that kind of goes unsaid or unnoticed sometimes is that, you know, when making these videos, it's hard to target big fish and it's hard to target trophy fish. And at the heart of it, I'm a, a trophy fisherman. I like catching big fish, you know? I don't, you know, numbers are fun, but I enjoy catching big quality trophy fish. So, something that kind of goes unnoticed is that it's really hard to fish for trophy fish when you're trying to make videos because you guys know you don't catch big giant fish every single day, you know? So you have to make decisions sometimes when I'm trying to make a video, it's like, all right, do I go out and just target some snooks on docks where I know I'll catch fish and I know I can catch a handful of like small to medium sized fish or do I just go and try to catch some giants and have a really really cool video with a big giant fish show off or possibly nothing at all so it's really hard sometimes to find that balance of all right well today I'm not gonna target big fish because I need to make a video or you know vice versa so today we're targeting big giants so hopefully we can stick a monster jack got a few new lures right here i can talk about in a little bit it's surface tension big old top water and big old plug right here for uh when the sun comes up right there big needlefish plug i'll show this off a little bit but i'm ready i'm excited to catch some fish and hopefully we can stick a big giant jack All right, I'm rigged up right here, I'll show you. 6,000 Saragossa, seven foot medium rod, 40 pound fluorocarbon to 20 pound braid, and we're using about six feet of 40 pound fluorocarbon. I like using very, very long leaders, and we're throwing this big old surface tension right there. It is a three ounce, five inch surface tension that we're just gonna cast a mile and cover as much ground as possible. I also think I'm gonna try to make this video, or make a series out of, you know, trying to find this big giant Jack Creval and connecting with it. You know, over in uh, SB Fishing TV, I don't know if you know who that is, Matt and uh, Ace Strykel, I think that's how you say their last name, I'll link them down below. They have a channel, you know, smaller channel, similar to mine, and they, uh, what they've been doing lately is a muskie hunt, and where he, he knows that, you know, you're not probably gonna catch a muskie on your first time out, and so he's making a series out of it, you know, where he uploads a video every week or so about you know going out and what he's doing to try to target that muskie and so i think i might turn the jack into something similar to that where you know i may not catch this big giant jack revolve on my first time out but we can make a series out of it you know what we're doing and you guys can give me input and advice about you know how i should be targeting this fish and what you know i could be doing better or what is going to change and kind of just go with it you know maybe we might catch one today maybe it'll take a few days or a few weeks but I think this should be fun and I think it'll be a cool video idea and a cool video series is, you know, making a series out of trying to catch this monster, monster fish. You know, I want to set the goal, I want to catch a jack that's probably over 25 pounds. You know, I've, I've caught some big ones but I want to go for a real donkey here. So hopefully we can get one, but it's time to start throwing. I'm done talking, I want to start catching some fish, man. One of the problems I foresee having is that this thing might also get hit by a barracuda, but I don't want to run steel because I think it'll turn off those big jack if they see a big steel leader on it. So I want to run fluorocarbon, but you know, if a cuda hits it, I'm just gonna to have to hope that he doesn't get his teeth around the leader. Ooh, come on, come on. They're little ones, but. God, <laughs> they're about eight, five, eight pounders. There's something moving around over here, I don't know what it is, but... Oh god. Something just waked on it real big. Oh, come 
on, eat it, dude. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Come on. Oh. Oh. It's not a huge jack, but <laughs> that was cool. <sighs> oh, let's pump this guy. Oh, it's a nice one it's right there, though. Crap, they're waking up here. Doesn't matter if these fish are five inches long or five feet long, they are so powerful. He's a little bigger than I thought he was. Alright, first jack of the morning right there, just a little five pounder probably. I think there's a lot of them around, so we'll throw and see if we can hook a few more. But this isn't the size of the jack we're looking for. We're looking for one that's about five times this guy's size right here. So we're gonna release him real quick. Head first back into the school and keep throwing and see if we can maybe hook up a few more. Something pretty interesting that I just noticed that you might not be able to tell on the camera, but I just realized where these jack are, if you can kind of see, there's a ripple to my left and then it's completely slick to my right. That is where the river water and the ocean water coming from the inlet are meeting and it's making a big mix of nutrients right here and there's probably a lot of bait fish being kind of washed in circles around here. And that's just where these fish happen to be hanging out. So that kind of gives me a little more information about maybe where I need to start defining my targeted area to try to catch these big fish. You know, right now there's only little ones hanging around here, but there might be some big ones that I don't see, or there might even be some big ones that'll roll in as the day progresses. But we're gonna target around here because there's some fish right here. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God giant holy sh did you see the size of that head weight back there oh my god i don't know where it went dude oh my god my heart is racing i can't even think there was like a three foot wake behind this thing that was the fish we were looking for that just wake behind this bait here I don't know if I've ever seen a head wake as big as that fish that just followed up this freaking plug. That was unreal how it, I'm, I'm pulling it. I know it's hard to see in the GoPro because it shoots at such a wide angle and this camera wasn't shooting towards it. Oh my gosh, dude. It was just, the plug was going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then just out of nowhere, it looked like someone shot a torpedo out of a submarine at it. And it just followed, followed, followed. And all of a sudden sunk down and pulled off. Hopefully we can find another one and get one of those like that to connect, dude. That was a big fish. So at the moment, I'm kind of conflicted here because I've been throwing this big uh, surface tension right here all morning and I caught one jack on it and I had an absolute monster follow. Probably one of the biggest wakes I've ever had follow a lure before. But, you know, I've been throwing it for about an hour and since that big giant fish waked on it, that was the last sign of life I've had. That was almost over an hour ago, maybe an hour and a half, you know, so. It's like, what do I do? Do I keep throwing this because I did have a big fish follow it or do I change up because I haven't got a bite in an hour? It's always hard to make that judgment call, but I think we're gonna cut this off for now and pick up this uh, big old needlefish plug right here. What's funny is this thing's like yellow. When I ordered it, it was supposed to be like a fluorescent green like this color right here, but this, uh, I'll live. I ain't a complainer. So we're gonna throw this bad boy and start working it and see if something under the surface instead of just ripping something across the top. So this is gonna swim underneath and we'll see if that does any better for us here. I don't know if that scared him or it looked like it. Yeah, it's hooping. When they're slow rolling big jacks, they, uh, they typically aren't gonna feed. But if they're moving quick, that means they're, they're searching for something. Another decent sized jack right here. I'll pick up the uh, needle. I don't know where he went. There he is, there he is. Ooh! Something monstrous spooked when that landed over there. Oh crap. Right in front of that sign, or right behind the sign, I should say something. 
Oh my god, here they come, here they come, here they come, here they come. Big school jack, big school jack, right in front of me. I don't know which way they went, but... Come on. Oh, dude, come on now. They were monsters. They just were so lagging behind on it for some reason. And then when I slowed it down to try to let them catch up, they just scooped off of it. Alrighty, I am done for the day. You know, we didn't connect with the big monster today, but that's why I decided to make this a series because I know that it's probably not gonna happen the first day and it might not even happen the second day. Maybe it will, I'm optimistic because, you know, we got waked on by some true giants today. You know, that first fish that waked up in the morning, that thing had to be over 30 pounds. It looked like there was a boat wake coming after my lure. It was insane. And then, you know, later in the day, it was really slow, but then we finally, you know, I made a big long cast next to a wake sign, a uh, navigation sign. I'm sitting there working the bait, and all of a sudden this huge boil comes up, and there's about six big giant jack chasing it, all between 20 and 25 pounds. And you just see these big gray noggins cruising about 10 yards behind the bait. Just looks like they're barely giving any effort, but they're going 15 miles per hour practically. You know, they're a little too far behind the bait, and so I tried to slow it down to let them catch up before I got to the boat. And the second I stopped that thing and let it start slowing down, they just took off the other direction. You know, I'm hopeful though, because we saw some big fish today, but we didn't connect, but we're gonna just keep trying. You know, I'll probably throw that green plug more, maybe try some different things, some big poppers. If you guys have any suggestions, feel free to let me know you know what you think is going to work for big jack even if you've never caught one say what you think might work or if you have caught on say what's been successful for yourself anything you guys got to say just let me know down below because i read through it and i really appreciate that kind of stuff it helps me a lot but today was fun the uh, journey will continue and i think i don't know i'm gonna try to allow myself to maybe fish for these big jack maybe two to three times a week because it's hard, like I said earlier in the day, to find the balance of, all right, well, I need to make a video and I need to show you guys some fish and, you know, I wanna catch this big, giant, prize-worthy fish, but I might not get a video made. So making it into a series, I think, will be cool because it's still exciting and you can follow along and see, like, when it's gonna happen, when it's gonna happen, you know? I'm very excited and hopefully this won't be too long of a series and that maybe the next day or uh, next time I go out, we'll be able to hammer one of those big boys, but, I appreciate you guys very much. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bark. Bark, bark.